Hey everybody, um, based off of my success from the other day with getting my clutch fixed finally, um, I'm going to do the brakes because since it goes, it needs to stop now. <laughs> um, this is kind of going to be more of a how-to, I guess. I'm going to show you guys how to make a good running hydraulic disc brake setup for under $60-$70. Because I know a lot of the uh, brake systems out there for sale on the internet or eBay, whatever, are quite a good chunk of change. So, hopefully um, my setup can save you some money. I want to try to relate this so anybody that has a go-kart could do what I did. So, um, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Okay, so here is my brake system. Uh, I went to a local motorcycle boneyard and I picked up a bunch of different parts out of a big barrel uh, pay 30 bucks for it so I have I think it's a Kawasaki caliper uh, I bought this I got a second brake hose little connecting piece in the middle here to connect the two hoses short hose and a master cylinder off of some unknown brand of motorcycle. If you guys want to see a video of how I prepared the brake lines and uh, the, the master cylinder and caliper and stuff, though I'll post a link in the description or maybe somewhere over here or something. So if you want to, you can have a look at that or not. Okay, so the other thing that I had to buy was this. Um, it's a go kart brake disc. It's built specifically for. Uh, one inch live axle uh, utilizes a quarter inch keyway so if you don't have any key stock um, you're gonna probably have to buy some I mean stuff's dirt cheap you might pay like a dollar fifty for it um, I mean you could you could probably make your own if you really wanted to um, so you need to stick some keyway in here and uh, get your set screws nice and tight and um, yeah, the next thing I got to do is I got to just, um, I'm going to mount my caliper up in here somewhere. Maybe over here. Special guest today, everybody. My brother, Max. Hey, what up? Okay, here is the start of the brake base holder thing. Um, since mine, the piston kind of comes out in an odd angle and uh, the these mounting bosses are kind of recessed up a little bit, um, I made this little uh, holder to make this easier to weld onto the frame. So now I'm just going to weld this um, this other edge onto the rest of the frame. Okay, so I have the caliper mount uh, officially welded on to the frame. Um, it's important to make sure it's lined up correctly and uh, make sure it's square with the uh, disc or else it'll um, I don't want to bind up on you and uh, that'll give you some problems. But uh, So yeah, I got that welded on. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to route this hose up through the chassis somehow and up to the steering wheel where that's where I'm going to have the uh, master cylinder located. Here is the master cylinder bolted on. Um, I think it'll work okay. Now I'm going to hook the rest of the hoses up. Alright, so I got my uh, brake lines and everything where I want them to be. Here's just some general tips. Um, I don't have a whole lot of them right now but I'm going to be using zip ties and stuff to make sure that um, it do the hose doesn't rub on any uh, sharp metal ends because uh, you don't want any cuts in your brake lines. Um, now this piece right here is actually going to be it's not right now but it's going to be bolted on to the bottom of, of this uh, steering column so this will be mounted rigidly right here. 
Um, as you can see, I got a lot of extra hose here, and that's so when I turn the steering wheel, uh, nothing binds up. So um, it makes sure it's just the small things like that you have to account for. So, all right, now I'm going to start uh, make sure all my bolts are tight, and I'm going to start bleeding my rake system. Well, that only took far longer than expected. I have bled the brakes out um, with my custom uh, inlet hole up top here. Um, and there's this little bleeding nut down at the bottom. Made a nice big mess on the driveway. Dad's going to be happy about that. But, um, so yeah, it's, um, it's looking good. I'm going to go for a test drive and see how the brake system works. Looks like success for today. Brakes work good. Engine runs good. Shifts good. Stops good. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Thanks for watching, guys.